Welcome back to my weird news channel. Chris Wheeler, Eric Ten Hag might be able to breathe easier after Man United's breakneck victory, but the Red Devils' chronic injury list suggests there's no end in sight to the crisis at Old Trafford. For more than 90 minutes at Old Trafford, this looked like being a painfully familiar story for Manchester United. Another defeat, another limp performance and another stumble into full-blown crisis. Then Scott McTominay, of all people, climbed off the bench to save the day with two injury-time goals to snatch a 2-1 win over Brentford as despair inside this grand old stadium turned to utter delirium. It means Eric Ten Hag can breathe a little easier during the international break. More than anything, the two-week hiatus will give the United boss time to get some players fit. Because amid all the issues at the club right now, that has been the root of Ten Hag's problems during an excruciating start to the season. A chronic injury list is dragging the Dutchman under at a time when he is desperately trying to stay afloat, with United's defense, in particular, decimated. Of the 16 United players sidelined since the summer, seven have come from the back four, Lissandra Martinez, Rafael Verani, Luke Shaw, Aaron Wambasaka, Harry Maguire, Sergio Regailan, and Tyrell Malaysia. It's now got so bad that some of them have been ruled out for a second and were only eight games into the Premier League campaign. After Martinez had another operation on his broken metatarsal on Monday and began a layoff of up to three months, Barony was ruled out against Brentford just a fortnight after returning from a month's absence. It's understood that the Frenchman could have played if this game was two days later, but it wasn't so once again Ten Hag had to improvise. Without arguably his strongest back four of Juan Bissaka, Verani, Martinez and Shaw, the United boss put out a makeshift defense that saw Harry Maguire and Johnny Evans reprise their Leicester City partnership of 2018-19. Diogo Dalit stayed at right back and central defender Victor Lindelof took over at left back where midfielder Sofian Amrabat has struggled in the last two games. Lindelof also appeared to pick up an injury when he was substituted and headed straight down the tunnel in the second half. The Swede didn't fare too much better during his 72 minutes on the pitch, in all honesty, and he was partly to blame when Brentford went ahead with their first-ever Premier League goal at Old Trafford in the 26th minute. The disappointing case Moreau lost possession close to halfway and Jon Wissa broke forward into the box. Wissa's pass found Lindelof who was backtracking but should still have done better than play the ball straight back to Brentford's number 11. It broke for Matthias Jensen who guided an effort beyond Lindelof's desperate lunge. Should it have beaten Andre Onana? Probably not but United's new goalkeeper has suffered more than most through playing behind an ever-changing defense this season. Onana dived to his right and rather flapped at the ball as it crept under his right hand and over the line. It was the 19th goal United have conceded in 11 games this season and the fourth Premier League game in a row at Old Trafford that they have conceded first. The Cameroonian was brought in this summer ostensibly because he is good with his feet. But the confidence in United's regard is so low at present that he is knocking the ball long more often than not. When he played it short to Evans' moments before Brentford's opening goal, the pass was underhit and Evans was lucky that referee Andy Madley ruled that Brian Bumo fouled the Northern Irishman when he won the ball off him. After that, it became a rerun of last weekend's defeat to Crystal Palace here, who scored at almost exactly the same moment in the first half and for easily held off United's attempts to come back. Ten Hag hooked Case Moreau at halftime and then sent on Anthony and Alejandro Garnacho for Marcus Rashford and Mason Mount, who has yet to provide any real evidence of why United blew £60 million of a tight budget to sign him from Chelsea in the summer. Then Ten Hag sent on Anthony Marshall. But after Onana produced two fingertip saves to keep United in the game, it was McTominay who came to the rescue twice in injury time. Could this be the turning point for Ten Hag? Time will tell, but the mood inside Old Trafford was transformed in an instant. Source, dailymail.co.uk Please like, share, and subscribe. Thank you for watching.